Listed below are systolic blood pressure measurements obtained from the same woman. So we want to find the regression line. So what we'll do is you click this little box and you click open in StatCrunch. And when you do that, you get what I have over here on the right, all of the data into StatCrunch. Then you go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. You pick the X, so you pick the first thing, and then you just pick the second thing. Then you click Compute, and there's the answers. So it looks like the left arm is the Y value, okay? Then we have an equals, so it wants one decimal, so 70.5. 70.5, and then it wants one decimal here, so 0.97, that's going to round to 1. Kind of a weird rounding, but excellent. Given that the systolic blood pressure in the right arm is 95, the best predicted systolic blood pressure in the left arm is, okay, so X is the right arm, it says it up here, X is the right arm, and Y is the left arm. They're telling us when X is 95, what is the value of Y? So before you do this part, you have to check whether or not R is significant. So here's your R right here, your correlation coefficient. So if this number is bigger than the number in the table, then R is significant, okay? And we use the line to make the prediction. If it's not bigger, then it's not significant, and the answer is the mean of the Y values. So let's check to see if it's significant. We have the sample size here, that's N, N is 5. Our alpha should be somewhere in the problem. Here it is, 0 0.05 right there. So I'm going to click this. So n is 5 and alpha is 0 0.05. So our critical value is right here. Oh, wow, our critical value is 0.878. Did not expect that. So our, uh, our r is 0.846, so it's smaller. So r is not significant, right? So it's not significant in this case. That means we're not going to use the line to make the prediction. We're going to use the mean of the y values. So what you do is you take the mean of the left arm measurements. So you go to stat, summary stats, columns. Then you pick the left arm, which is the y's, and you click compute. And there is your answer, 157.2. It's the mean, 157.2. Next question. That's it.